looks pretty cool. Yeah. People going all out. <laughs> I have Halloween. a confession. Confession, Zach. The other night I drove home and I saw two skeletons, uh, you know, out on a, on a front lawn, <laughs> you know, sitting down in the chairs. And I, for a second, yeah, for momentarily, <laughs> I thought that it was real. I know I'm incredibly gullible and I got me. I'll take a picture. I'll show it to you. Okay. Maybe. I'll have to but see it. Anyway, bottom line is we, we, have a, we have a serious flood threat. That's tonight. Now, this is for down east, northern Maine, central Maine, basically about a gust to east where I'm targeting as the rain is going to be coming down all night long. All right. So three, four, five inches of rain, not out of the question. Uh, right now it's 61 in Bangor. Uh, it is raining. There are some showers coming through. Wind southeast at six miles an hour, uh, and the rain has been on and off. So heavy rain at times. The flood threat continues. We are clearing and cooler, though, after this cold front is going to finally march east. But right now we're almost a good chunk of half the state really is all green and that is about I said a gust east where that rain is coming down heavy at times you're seeing yellows pop up oranges and that's incredibly heavy the tropical downpours here in Washington County from Eastport Northwest all the way up to Millinocket that's set up to the county you see Presque Isle Holton Danforth getting in on this up 95 north of the turnpike and how much rain well in the last 24 hours, you look very easy to see here. Casco Bay up the capital region where you're seeing the brighter colors. This is what happened last night where you had close to six inches estimated by the radar around North Yarmouth. OK, and tonight I could see that happening uh, moving east, but tomorrow it's a different story. Rain is done by eight o'clock in the morning and you're going to see the sun come out in the afternoon tomorrow at the coast except for down east, extreme down east by Eastport, we're all clear. So let's do the hour by hour forecast to plan this evening. If you are headed out, this is where the heavy rain is going to be. Mid coast to down east flooding rain. Watch the culverts. Don't drive over a road. You can't see how deep it is if it's flooded out. Now wet commute for some clear and chilly for southern and western Maine six in the morning, but still raining in Caribou and in Calais at that time. So it's still going to be coming down this rain for the morning commute and finally breaking up the showers, but except about just about Eastport and Caribou at nine in the morning, seeing that rain. Everyone else is seeing pretty much wall to wall sun. How much rain you're seeing close to two inches in the forecast in Callis and in Caribou, uh, Millinocket picking up about close to an inch. So clearly there will be more rain tonight, and that's why I'm concerned about flooding from about we'll call it Augusta or Bangor heading east. Now for the seas building tomorrow, five to seven feet. That's I mean nothing uh, to shake anything at. I mean that's a lot big time seas going on. Small craft advisory is up. That could easily be a gale. Um, we're going to 53 on Thursday and then in the weekend I, I'm I just I can't believe my eyes. We're getting deeper <laughs> to October and we're getting a run for 70 rain again next week. A much bigger cool down. But all in all, after we get through with this storm tonight and tomorrow morning, things clear out. We have a few chilly nights. You know, the growing season could end on the southern coast where it hasn't yet. And then this weekend, I mean, if you like it warm, uh, it, I mean, I call those beach days by October. I was going to say that. Uh, Zach, <laughs> o around here, October standards, it could be 45. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah, last weekend we went to the beach with the dog and saw some people out with right. the beach chairs, reading books. And so this weekend's even better. Might as well. Sounds good. All Thanks, right. Jason.